Okay, so uh, we are getting to the end of the trailer now, and my voice is getting oh so tired. Um, but as I said, we're getting to the meaty section, so um, stay alert. There is a lot more to cover. Okay, so they're using the Predator pistol, I believe. Don't know why. It's a piece of crap. Anything's better than the Predator pistol. This is the planet that I talked about earlier that looked like the ocean, uh, but obviously there's a bit of fighting going on. This looks like it could be an early stage of the campaign, to be honest. So the weapon's not very good. Um, it's only got one ally, as you can see, and it's only got one power. So, yeah, it could be an early stage of the game. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, possibly first planet they've landed on, or first contact, or whatever. Not too sure what this power is on the left-hand side. It looks like um, an explosive container, possibly. There is a one next to it, so... I'm guessing grenade at this point could be. Alright, so Desert Outpost. At first, nothing special. However, if you look at the top of the radar, you've got uh, exclamation mark, which means objective, I do believe. You've got the two white dots, could be your allies. You've got the one red dot, and that red dot that I believe is that enemy in the background, way in the distance, as you can see there. And and then on the bottom left, which is quite interesting, so you're currently on life support, and the reason why you're on life support is because there is a heat hazard, heat hazard level 1. So not only is there a, a hazard from the heat, but there's also different levels of heat, so maybe level 2 would drain the life support quicker, level 3, I don't know how high it goes, I'm just guessing. But as you can see, you can only be out there for a certain amount of time before you essentially die. Um, so that's quite interesting. Um, so does that mean you just need to get into shade and it would recuperate or are you working on like a battery and then once obviously it depletes you need to return to your ship uh, or find a new battery or whatever I don't know how it works okay so that's the first thing I noticed um, next thing I noticed was the weapon so the Black Widow returns I do like sniping in this game uh, well I like sniping in general so uh, that's nice to see the weapon return and the Black Widow is pretty decent um, there is something I want to talk about regarding sniping later on, and I'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, but as you can see, the shield symbol is again, so I can't see the allies anywhere. Possibly they're hidden. Maybe that's what it is. So maybe you can give them specific commands now, so you can say, get to cover, don't don't attack enemies, don't you know reveal your location, which is sometimes what they did in previous games, which was very annoying. And then you can also put them into like full-on attack mode, and they'll just run around like headless chickens and, I guess, act as bullet sponges for a little bit. Possibly. Uh, powers, again, you've got the white dot and now you've got that kind of white, uh, like, I don't know, spiky thing on the right hand side. So I'm really curious to know what this, what this is. Um, but obviously the power is some sort of light, lightning, so electricity. And then you've got the middle one, which will be revealed in due course. And then you've got the grenades, which are completely out. So, boom. Activated the middle power. Invisibility, well, stealth, cloak, whatever you want to call it, and then uh, finds the target. And as you can see, distance to target is highlighted at 18.9 meters, so it's a lot closer than the enemy we were looking at earlier. So I'm guessing either this person's repositioned or they found another target which we didn't see on the uh, on the screen. Uh, use console to disable alarm so we're attacking a base uh, so this is probably like a side mission maybe a scout mission or whatever and, and then obviously this person snipers have lasers again nothing special there boom one shot down now the reason why I say one shot down is because this person still has a shield now if you play multiplayer in Mass Effect 3 you'll know that enemies have what we call a shield gate and uh, basically what that means is any damage that an enemy takes between um, between the shield going down and then going straight to health is mitigated because of shield gate. So I don't know if this is just in the campaign or the multiplayer as well, or maybe I'm just reading too much into it um, because I played a lot of multiplayer. But it looks as though you can actually one shot enemies even though they've still got shield um, and damage bleeds through to the health. So does that mean that the cloak does more damage? Is that why they cloaked? Um, headshots clearly do a lot more damage. Well, do they do more damage? That's a good question. Um, or is it, as I said, I'm just reading too much into it and it's just a, a box standard sniper kill and there's no reason why they're putting it in whatsoever just apart from the fact this person got a headshot with a sniper. Who knows? Okay, so also, before we move on, zoom. Does that mean you can zoom in and zoom out? Curious to know.
Alright, so do 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 if I just slow it down. Observer. I think these are the things that were featured in the original trailer anyway, so nothing special. Uh weapon again, not too sure what it is. It was the one that we saw earlier. Oh, actually, that looks like it could be the collector rifle. It could be. Ah, huh. so again, sorry, human, I believe. Force field, possibly. Got the electricity thing again, and then you've got the, the hand shield. Yeah, if you yeah, so this is definitely a continuation of that fight that we saw in the reveal trailer. Because if you look at the things here, yeah, it's definitely the same place. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so each of these screens has a bit of information on, so I'm gonna have to, you know, bear with me while I try and get them. Bang on. Okay, so M8 Avenger, as you can see there. What's interesting here, though. See, I don't know if this person's in cover and popped out, or you can swap shoulders that you can shoot over, which you couldn't do in any of the other games. So I'm hoping it's the fact that you can actually do that, because um, that would be really good. Because one of the things that was a bit annoying in, in Mass Effect 3 was obviously when you're playing multiplayer, you have to sort of get yourself into an advantage position, and you always had to shoot from the right, and you always had to be, cover had to be to your left, so you could sort of duck in, duck out. And if you shoot the other way around, it was it was messy. <laughs> it would put it that way. So. One of the allies has died. There's no indication to go and revive said ally or to use a med pack. So I'm wondering how that works. Um, whoever this dude is is still alive. Maybe it's a Krogan. Is that what it is? I don't know. It doesn't look like a Krogan. So again, you've got pull. Middle power is singularity, which creates that sphere which uh, causes non-shielded enemies to be floated. And then you've got whatever that is. And again, you've got the white dot there and then you've got the spiky thing I'm curious to know then no because then it would be on the center one as well I was thinking like it could be a representation of what type of power it is but then it would singularity would be the same vein as pull I'd have thought so anyway so that, that would go together so maybe it's passive aggressive pull is obviously passive and then you got whatever that comet thing is attacking possibly hmm and again, you've got the top, you've got the star again, so maybe targets to kill because you've got red dots there and they're not the same. Yeah, possibly. Or objectives. But then objectives with exclamation mark. But then a different type of objective. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so this bit is quite cool. And I'm going to have to slow it down. In fact, yeah, I'm going to slow it down even more then. There you are. Okay, so the anointed, new type of enemy, uh, I think it's the part of the Keck family or whatever the hell they're called, and basically is about to get shanked by this very stylish takedown. Spins around with a blade, boom, gashes him in the stomach. Um, so you can, so the melees can be customized as well, I'm guessing. So you can choose to have a punch, you can bring along a knife, you can bring along something else. It doesn't look like it's one of the powers. That's the only thing I will mention because you've got pull, you've got the turret, you've got the force field, but then you've sort of got like a there's like a biotic glow on the blade. So maybe it's part of the the character you choose. So biotics have this blade, maybe I don't know, whatever has a different type of attack as a melee. Um, but then as you can see, I think it's a particle rifle again or a different variation of a infinite firing weapon. But then you've got the ammo. Did I mention the ammo, actually? I can't remember if the scene's come up yet. But there is something I want to talk about, the ammo. Uh, I feel like we've missed it, you know. I'll go back and find it if we have missed it. So it looks like they're on a spaceship of some sort. And again, you've got the objective there. So it could be an assassination mission. That's what I'm thinking it is. Okay, so... Nullifier, so it's like a enemy robot with a shield whatever the hell they are powers there so you got the shield you got the lightning you got the force field see now this is interesting so these look like crosshairs sniper crosshairs so could it be that you've told your your allies to, to hang back and snipe is that what you've told them to do like take up an overwatch position and they've both managed to die somehow so that was really useful um 
But yeah, as you can see, there's different stances you can give to your allies. Defense, offense, overwatch, cover, hard cover, running around like headless chicken. Who knows? Okay, so a lot of different enemy types, as you can see. Pariah. Oh, and also... Is that a new enemy? Not a new enemy. Is that is that a new ally? Because this person's dead as well, but they don't look like that. Interesting. New pistol. Looks like a, an auto pistol. Possibly the Geth Pulse Rifle, which is bloody awful. Um, you got Pull Again. Biotic Charge, possibly, or something like that. And then you got force field, and again these white dots and spiky dots, spiky thing. I don't know. I'm really interested to know what those are. Okay, so this is probably taken from the fight that was featured earlier. We talked about this. There's a see. What I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on towards the end. It's crazy. Um. Possibly particle rifle again, person using fire, shield, force field, I'm guessing, the blast back force field. And then this person's using. There you are. It's really messy. It's really, really messy. Boom. So, this person's melee is that, like, omni tool ground pounds. So maybe if you're the technician, that's your melee attack instead. Or heavy melee, even. Because in previous games there were light melee and heavy melee. And if I just let this scene play out. Okay, so you've got another enemy called the Chosen. I believe that's health and ammo in the background. And you've got ammo types on the left. Now, what's interesting is the standard bullets is level 3. And then you've got the electricity at level 2. Now, does that indicate how much ammo there is of that particular type? Or does that indicate the strength of said ammo? Because I believe there are different types of ammo as well. Um, again, using the Riga. Grenades to... Not too sure what this is. Looks like more bullets on the screen. So possibly faster firing rate. But then how is that related to the weapon? I don't get it if that's a power. And then obviously you've got... Uh, I think that's a grenade. Frag grenade. Oh! That might be triple frags. As in... Like the Devastator triple frags. You know, like... Cluster nades. Uh, oh... Okay, if we just take back again, that was two scenes merged into one, by the way. So you've got that scene there, and then you've got this scene here. Because um, you can see the powers are different, and also enemy is different, anarchist. Uh, and again, so that must be the Krogan there. That looks like the Krogan for sure. So there's at least three new uh, species that you can bring along. you got the one that looked like they were dead. you got the other one that looked like... Wearing goggles. No, this is just two then. Two new species that you'll be bringing along as allies. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, so one of the things I noticed straight away was uh, there's a fire combo. So obviously, using fire ammo. Um, is that level 1 fire ammo? Again, I don't. Because there must be different levels of ammo. I mean, it featured in multiplayer, but never really featured in campaign as far as I know. Um, but he's managed to detonate a fire combo, and how he's done that is, or she, basically fire ammo to set the target on fire, and then the middle power here, if you didn't notice it, is I believe concussive shot, and so they set off like a, a combination doing that, which is quite nice, as you can see the enemy is just burst into a fiery ball of flame. And then obviously you've got dash forward, which is I believe the biotic charge, and then the force field, so this person's clearly a biotic, I believe, human biotic. Okay, so this scene... Again, this is one of the new allies, not too sure what's going on. Um, they've died, obviously. Using Revenant, CQC with these massive robots, probably not going to work out too well. As you can see on the top screen there, um, you've got the Mako. And then you've got, again, that triangle structure thing. So I don't know what that is. Home base, possibly. Outpost. Don't know, but the red dot is clearly the enemy. And, oh, interesting, look. So there, you can see where the ally's gone down. So maybe it doesn't show on the screen if you're not facing them, but if you are facing them, you can go over and revive them like you could in previous games. Confirmed. There we go. You got fire on the left, shield completely out, and then you've got the force field again, I'm, I'm guessing. And again, there's three dots. There's three dots. What do those three dots mean?
And what's and that spiky one as well? I'm really interested to know. It's really bugging me. Can someone please tell me what that is? Or get a dev to tell me what it is. I just want to know what it is. It can't be that important, but I don't know, I'm just really curious. Just really curious to know what it means. So yeah, you get into a secrecy situation, as you can see, gets ground pounded. Takes away the shield entirely, but before you can recuperate, gets picked up by this Hydra thing, and well, video speaks a million words, gets completely destroyed. So there you have it. That was the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay reveal trailer slash footage, whatever. Uh, as you can see, available in spring 2017. No exact date, which is a little bit worrying because it probably means it's going to be pushed to summer or some other time at that, or at least at the very earliest, it'll probably be the end of March at the very earliest. Uh, I don't think it's going to come out any earlier than that, to be honest. But as long as they perfect it, that's the main thing. Um, a pretty long trailer analysis, I'm not going to lie. Um, but there was a lot to talk about, as I said. Uh, hopefully, I managed to share some nice information with you guys and girls. Uh, as I said, if I missed anything, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If anybody can find out what those dots mean above the powers, the white little dot and then the spiky dot as well. I'd really appreciate someone telling me what the hell's going on there because it's just bugging me a little bit. Uh, to know what it is uh, but yeah I'm hyped the gameplay looks good fluid movement which is decent hopefully you can shoulder swap that would be so good weapons obviously a few of them return a couple of favorites uh, the Black Widow in particular I'm hyped for that powers being readjusted to different mappings that's obviously possible so you can you can do left right it's the same as Mass Effect 3 but then also it's no longer triangle to do the middle power which is really good I'm looking forward to that um, boost jumping it's great uh, no rolling as of yet. I don't know if there's a rolling feature, but maybe roll has been taken out in place of dashing left and right. I can see them doing that because otherwise it'd be too many buttons again. Um, powers, one or two new ones, um, but maybe they're just like redesigned old ones, not too sure yet. Allies, you can give them more direction in how they approach engagements. Excited for that, that's good. Collecting resources uh, never really interested me, but I'm guessing there's more of a, an emphasis on you finding stuff to use to make yourself better. That's the sense I'm getting from the game at the moment. And it's not just for armor, but also for weapons, uh, potential upgrades as well. Speaking of, never did show you that scene, did I? Um, of the ammo that I was going to talk about. So I'm going to quickly find that now and then I'll come back to it. Alright, so I found the scene, uh, I probably did actually land on it, I just didn't read it at the time. But basically, as you can see, so the secondary they've got is a Predator pistol, and then you can bring along, I believe, three main weapons, as denoted by the three squares there. But they're only carrying two at the moment. But then again, if you've got the pistol as a secondary, so maybe you can only equip one primary at a time, but you can carry up to three, which is quite good, I suppose. Uh, but obviously you can carry four in total because there's one locked out there. Uh, possibly heavy weapons included in that in that four slot and then you can bring along uh, four I don't know because these aren't powers are they these are well let's just talk about the thing I was going to talk about first uh, so disruptor ammo adds electric damage to the next three clips of currently equipped gun deals bonus damage to shields so obviously electric for shields and then you get fire for armor but what's interesting is previously you just equip it and then that was it and it would just last until you take it off again but here it says the next three clips so that's quite interesting, and that's why there's a, a counter next to each of the uh, ammo types. So you've got five lots of uh, electricity, you've got five lots of fire. So how do you replenish that? Can you upgrade it? Uh, can it be more than three clips? Can it do more damage? Etc. 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 A lot of questions. Um, oh! Scrap what I said about the Predator's pistol. So you can bring four weapons, as denoted by the pistol, which is this top half is the guns. And then the bottom half is the ammo type. So you can bring along... Oh, all right. So you can bring along four weapons and four different ammo types. I'm curious to know if that means you can only carry five of each lot of ammo. So that means 20 lots of ammo altogether. So you could bring potentially 20 lots of electricity or fire or ice or whatever. Ah, oh, interesting. How does weapon swapping work? Then? Does that mean you can only have one equipped at a time and then you have to go into the wheel to get it out? I don't know. It doesn't look like... You can set one primary, one secondary, and then do a quick swap or anything like that. Which is a little bit worrying if that's the case, but I'm sure they would have thought about that. Ah, and also on this screen as well, so you've got use item. Obviously, nothing special there. Ah, so this was recorded on Xbox. Huh, interesting. And then holster. Put it away. 
obviously. All right, well, that was, that was quite enlightening to go back and see that scene. All right then, so I'm going to go and rest my vocal cords and get this video edited. No idea when it's going to go up, but uh, hopefully I'll get it up this weekend. There was a lot in that video, a lot in that trailer. I knew it would be a long trailer analysis, I didn't think it would be this long. As I said, a lot of information, so quite an interesting trailer. Uh, it's definitely got me hyped. A bit uncertain about the release window, obviously it says spring, but who knows, I'm guessing March at the earliest, but it could be early summer, mid-summer, late summer, worst case scenario. But as I said, I'd rather get it perfect and then rush it out the door, and especially where multiplayer is concerned as well. Uh, but yeah, okay, so if you enjoyed the content, consider tapping the like button, I really do appreciate it. For more news on Mass Effect Andromeda, I'm going to be concentrating on multiplayer from now on, then you can always subscribe to be alerted to that, if not, just check back to the channel. As I said, whenever there's like big drops of data, I will always do an analysis, and it will always go up in due course, so never fear. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.